Welcome for this weekly recap of the blockchain news. I'm Julian and on Eat the Blogs I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. Quick announcement, if you want to learn how you can become a professional Web3 developer, check out my free training. You will find some super useful tips that will save you a lot of time and energy. You will find the link down below. Ether is slowly recovering from its decline and is currently at $2,500. The Ethereum core team has advised DAP to prepare for the proof of work switch off by testing their DAP on the Kings2Gi testnet. A new update on Arbitrum allows lower transaction fees. MakerDAO's expulsion of their content team triggers a debate about its governance protocol. FriesDAO aims to become a crypto funded fast food chain. BitDAO invests $200 million into ZK Sync to support research and expansion. The DeFi market cap saw a decline to $7-8 billion as some retail investors withdraw from crypto. The Anchor protocol is close to burning up its reserve balance with only 20 days of reserve left as deposit piles up. AV V3 launched on Testnet. Rary Capital launched its interest rate protocol Fuse on Arbitrum. FTX US, one of the biggest crypto exchange, raised $400 million. Project Galaxy, a decentralized credential data network, raised $10 million. $80 million were exploded on the Qubit Ethereum Binance Smart Chain bridge due to insufficient check that allowed withdrawal of token on Binance Smart Chain. The Zora protocol fixed a vulnerability that would have allowed sellers to front run offers and no funds were lost. The Google searches for NFT outpaced crypto as NFT popularity continued to rise. OpenSea reversed the 50 item limit for their free minting tool after a backlash from the community. Onchain Art is a website that ranks NFTs based on onchain metadata storage. MoonPay NFT checkout added support for cat purchases. The SEC proposed to expand the definition of security exchanges to include DeFi and automated market maker. ETH Wizard is an installer for validator client for Ethereum 2.0 with support for auto updates. Twitter Airdrop is a simple tool to extract Ethereum addresses or ENS from tweet replies for Airdrop. C4 Audit is a simple source code analyzer for low severity security issues. That's it for today and if you are new here, make sure to register for my free training on how to become a Web3 developer. Have a good day, bye!